Virginia. I'm owner of Boonville Barn Collective and I came to Mendocino County 11 years ago. I'm originally from Milwaukee, Wisconsin um, and I moved out here to work at the Boonville Hotel and I was an intern there and I planned to stay here for about four months and I stayed here for five years at the time. I got excited about cooking and I had the opportunity to work in the kitchen there and we used a lot of a specific chili powder, it meant despelette in all of our cooking and we were really focused on sourcing as much local produce as we could for the restaurant or growing it ourselves and we wanted to extend that to the spices we used and so we were able to find 50 seeds from France of the Espelette chili and we gave those seeds to Nacho and asked Nacho if he could grow those peppers and one day Nacho came into the kitchen with a few bus tubs full of the chilies and said okay Chrissy what do we do next and so then we got to figure out how to dry the chilies and grind them and create our Piment de Ville chili powder as the chili powder of Boonville. Um, so that was in 2012 and now in 2021, uh, we are the Boonville Barn Collective um, that my husband Gideon and I started at the end of 2019 when we moved back to California after a stint in Boston um, as a way to bring all the chilies that we were growing and the different products we had on the farm under one roof and really be able to open up opportunities for growing different crops in the future and having different land-based opportunities for our team. So at the co-op, you have our classic Piment de Ville, the spicy Piment de Ville, I believe there's a smoky Piment de Ville. Um, there's also the Piment de Ville chili sea salt. Um, there's our citrus and chili marmalade. Um, our jam that we made with cellar door preserves, the strawberry and Piment de Ville jam. And then also the Daybreak by Boonville Barn Collective um, Golden State Se Seasoning Salt. Full line of the whole dried chili, so we'll have more of those for you soon. So we harvest all of our chilies by hand and then they come up here to the greenhouse where they sit for a few weeks um, to, to get nice and to to age. Really, yeah, to age to and develop age. their flavors better. Yeah, to break it in, to, to, to age, and basically age, yeah, to yeah. age. And to pull a lot of that water out so we're not spending energy drying all of that water. And then we take the, we take the chilies and we take out the seeds and the stems by hand and then it goes into the dehydrator to dry for a few more days and get nice and crispy. And they come out and we grind all the chilies into chili powder and then we pack it into big bulk packs until we later need to break that down into jars or other. Well, well basically we do uh, the uh, Renegade, the mm -hmm. Renegade certificate, which is uh, uh, local. Mm -hmm. it's, it's local, so uh, organic, mm -hmm. way to farm, but we mostly uh, try to go organic so we can. The only like sprays that we use are organic kelp fertilizers yeah. um, as food for the plants with extra nutrients and we cover crop in the winter, um, we, we don't spray any herbicides or fungicides or anything like that. We also um, we got a grant through the Healthy Soils program last year to put in a hedgerow along one side of our property um, along the edge of the farm. It borders a really dusty road and we wanted to be able to capture some of that dust on something other than our plants and then also sequester carbon in the soils there and so over the next few years we'll see this hedgerow of like 50 different native pollinator plants um, get bigger and bigger um, and be a great habitat for bees and other insects and really um, be a beautiful little edge to the farm. A small woman-owned business, um, it's really important to me to find other like-minded businesses who care about the things that they're doing, put a lot of effort into it, and have similar values. Um, so some of the different folks that we partner with are uh, Daybreak Seaweed. Um, they're based in Southern California, and they source Alaska wakame seaweed to make some really lovely seaweed flakes. And we worked with them to create the Golden State Seasoning Salt um, that features our Pimentoville chilies in there. Um, we also work with Cellar Door Preserves out of Michigan that works with Michigan farmers to source as much local fruit as they can, and they made a really lovely strawberry preserves with our Pimentaville in there. And really it's just finding other small woman-owned businesses that are interested in trying something new and trying to um, create products that are a little bit different than what you might have in your pantry, um, but are just as easy to use as what you might cook with at home. If you're new to our chili powders and haven't tried Piment de Ville before, I think the best way to use it is to spend a week using Piment de Ville in place of your black pepper and use that on anything you're going to add salt to. Um, 
it, whether it's your eggs or your avocado toast. Or... I, I would say that the good start is eggs. Yeah. yeah. Eggs in the morning. Just yeah. switch the, 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 the black pepper for the egg, for yeah. the event. And yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. just, it's a really good start. Yeah. And I think. It was a cook. <laughs> <laughs> I think some people can get nervous yeah. that all chili powders are really spicy, but our pimento oil is a pretty mild flavor and um, you don't have to be too scared when you use it.